Howdy folks, this is Woden Kelt and I am here today to talk about toothpaste or the lack of toothpaste. In a case of bugging out or sur survival situations, you're not going to have your toothpaste. You're not going to be able to go to the store to be able to buy toothpaste. But if you are a prepper, or you are a survivalist, you are going to have two items that you will need to make toothpaste. One is baking soda and the other is hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to show you how to make some homemade toothpaste using just regular old baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Now you do need to use hydrogen peroxide that is 3% or less. Anything over 3% is hazardous to the human body, especially in the mouth. But 3% is, is well known to be perfect for our human body for all the pH levels and everything like that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take two tablespoons of baking soda. Now I've already uh, measured that out. And then you want to take one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to just pour that in here because I, I make this for myself. And also hydrogen peroxide has a very strong flavor and taste to it. So ways you can uh, improve the flavor or taste is by adding a drop or two of pure peppermint oil or wintergreen oil. You can also uh, smash up strawberries. That's a great way of doing it. Um, also the acids found in strawberries help to whiten your teeth. You can um, chop up some dried lemon or orange rinds and make them, grind them up into a powder and mix them in with a toothpaste, toothpaste that gives a nice citrus flavor to it. So um, basically you want to just make a nice, nice little liquid and obviously I didn't measure the hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide out perfectly so you just add a little bit of baking soda until it becomes a nice paste. You want it to be about the same consistency as the toothpaste you have in your con uh, current containers that you get from the store right now. I'm just using this little gadget right here because it's easier to stir. It doesn't clump up on a spoon. So also re remember if you're adding some liquid like a, a peppermint oil or wintergreen oil that is going to add a little bit of consistency, liquid consistency to the paste. So this is almost about perfect right now. One thing that uh, hydrogen peroxide after about maybe a couple hours it will start to make this solution bubble up. So you do, you do need to keep the, this in a container that has a lid on it or that you can maybe a screw lid, maybe an old baby food bottle or something like that. But, well, let me tell you a little bit about um, baking soda and why it's good for your teeth. So baking soda is a natural de deodorizer. Uh, as you can see it says for cleaning, deodorizing, and baking. Um, we all know that you can put it in the refrigerator or freezer to help take out odors. So uh, being a natural deodorizer, it freshens your breath by killing bacteria that causes odor. Um, baking soda also is an abrasive, so it rubs plaque away and it can also rub stains away from your teeth. So hydrogen peroxide, the reason why you want to use that is because it weakens and breaks up the bacteria that form on your teeth. So hydrogen peroxide is a little strong, so a lot of people are not going to like the taste of this. That's why you do need to add something to uh, a flavor to it. Uh, especially doesn't taste good if you brush your tongue. But hydrogen peroxide is very super inexpensive and supposedly it only lasts for about a year of strength before it starts losing its strength. So uh, it's cheap to buy and but you do want to replace it once a year. You know it's um, homemade toothpaste right here. You know it's probably the, the combination of these two ingredients right there, just alone those two ingredients would probably be about 13 cents. Whereas um, toothpaste bought from the store would be a minimum of 54 cents. You do have to buy the oil, but once you buy the oil that's going to last a long time.
but if you have a lemon or, or orange or some kind of citrus peels put in there or strawberries you know that's just that's free fruit especially if you're growing that yourself so before you try this for the very first time you do want to put a little bit on your tongue and rinse it around your mouth if you uh, have any kind of reaction to it whatsoever I don't recommend using it but this is a great way for an emergency situation to make toothpaste and I do use this on a regular basis because I don't want to use fluoride and I probably will make a video about fluoride sometime in the future. I do have a hazardous waste background so I'm not an expert. Uh, in fact I was a uh, spill recovery specialist So, I, but I had to take a class every week to uh, a class once a year for a week for recertification when I was working in hazardous waste. We basically covered the same things over and over again and also covered new topics but uh, if you don't believe me or if you want to do more research this is easy to find online uh, if you don't want to make this much toothpaste it will last about a month if you keep it stored in a closed container uh, like in your bathroom cupboard where it's dark um, it will last about a month but after that you need, do need to get rid of it so you just wet your toothbrush, your toothbrush and dip it in the solution and brush away Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, please ask away in the comments below. And if you like, please like, and please subscribe. Thank you.